Hi everybody, Levi Clay here and I'm back again to do some teaching. It's been a while since I've done something like this, but I'm gonna start a new series looking at the technique of hybrid picking and using this wonderful axe cam mount. Hello. Uh, I can actually give you some amazing close-up shots of my picking hand to really help you see exactly what I'm doing. So if you do enjoy these, please do give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment and all that good stuff. It will encourage me to make more. So what is hybrid picking and why should we learn about it? Well, hybrid picking literally is the use of the pick and the fingers. So it's a hybrid of using the pick and finger style. And it is a style uh, of playing that is common in many, many genres. Of course, you could look at country players and say, well, they, those guys use a lot of hybrid picking. And it's definitely very prevalent in that style. But you can look at great rock players like Zach Wilde or... Uh, let's say Eric Johnson uses a lot of hybrid picking to give his uh, chord voicings a, a smoother attack, a more consistent attack that you don't get from strumming with a pick, etc. So let's uh, let's break it down. Let's look at the first lesson in hybrid picking, and this is what I'm going to call pinching and alternating. So uh, to begin with, we're just going to use two fingers. Now it's worth pointing out, uh, I will show my fingers on the camera, I don't have any sort of nails on my hands. I'm a big nail biter, so nails are difficult for me to maintain. Also, because I do tap from time to time, nails always got in the way when I was younger. So I do this technique without any sort of nails whatsoever. Uh, that one's totally down to you. If you choose to grow nails or even wear something like acrylic nails, like someone like Brent Mason would, then you will find that you have a little bit of a little bit more consistent pick-like attack from the fingers. I actually celebrate the fact that my hybrid pick notes don't sound like a pick. I like that they sound a little bit different because when I'm alternating between pick and fingers like that, the, the flesh of the fingers tends to give it a little bit more snap. But yeah, you'll be fine with with or without the uh, the fingernails. So what we'll do is we'll begin just by holding an open E chord. Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna blast through quite a lot of exercises here. Tabs for all of this are on my Patreon page, link in the description. But it's for the uh, transcription challenge tier. You won't need the tabs, but if you want them, they are there. So yeah. The first thing that we need to talk about is essentially the pinching technique. What is the pinching technique? We need to get to grips with the placement of the fingers. So what I'm going to do before even holding a chord is I'm going to place the pick down on the A string and then I'm going to place my um, middle and ring fingers on the D and G strings. Now that's the first important concept to understand. A lot of the hybrid picking that you're going to be doing will have what I call pre-placement of the fingers you don't have the fingers floating in the air like this and then come in and try and grab the strings. That would feel very unnatural. We want to get to grips with this idea of when I put my pick down, my fingers are there, they're placed there on the strings ready to play. And this is doubly useful because it helps with muting technique. So fingers off the guitar, wiggle them around and then put them on the guitar and they will place to pick on the A string, D and G strings with those two fingers. And I can do that on any string set. If I pick the uh, D, G, and B, or the G, B, and high E, low E, uh, A, and D, and I can just go through those like that, and you're gonna see that placement of the fingers. Now, spend a little bit of time with that, and when you start to feel comfortable with that, it's really just gonna be about taking those three strings, if I'm holding, I'll, I'll just mute the strings at this stage, and I can pinch. So picking the E, A, and D strings in one motion. And you'll notice when the pick comes back, the fingers come back. I don't rest in the air like this and then sort of go, ah, that's tricky. It's control. Pick comes in, fingers on strings, pluck. So it's a pinching motion. Now I could move that between strings. Here's the A, D, and G, and here's the D, G, and B. And I could go between those two. Now if I apply a chord to that, like an open E. And that would really be the first exercise, just taking a chord, like an open E chord, and playing three string groupings. pinching motion. That's actually a big part of my warm-up technique. I will do things like... Something 
like that, just uh, as a way of warming up when I pick up the guitar in the morning, getting my fingers in control, having the dexterity of those fingers. So that's picking three adjacent strings, uh, and that is a great use of your time, but we could switch that up so we could leave a gap between the pick and the fingers. So instead of picking the A, D, and G strings, I could move that pick over to the low E string. We'd have the E, D, and G strings. And we've got the same principle. I can pick that E string, the D string, and the G string at the same time. And there's a pre-placement of the fingers. The fingers are there, they're resting on those strings. I move over to the, uh, what would that be? The A string, the G, and the B. And then the D string, the B, and the high E. That is a good use of your time. trying to get as much grip on those strings as possible. I'm trying to almost hook under the strings a little bit and you're plucking outwards. We're not brushing sideways, it's plucking outwards. Very effective sound in that country and rock thing. Now lastly, you could make your life a little bit difficult. Now to be completely honest, this is one that I never really practiced, but from time to time I do have to do it. And that would be picking the E string, then the D string, and the B string. So having a gap between each one of those fingers. Pre-placement on that feels a little bit more awkward. But you get the idea. So there's your basic pinching technique. Now alternating, as the name would suggest, would be to go between the pick and then the fingers. Now this is where pre-placement is incredibly important because we pluck with the pick on the low E string and then I pluck the A and D strings with those fingers. But you notice when I pluck with that pick, my fingers stay placed on that string like that. Pre-placement, pick, fingers, pick, fingers. Now if I move across strings, pick fingers. As soon as my pick hits the A string, my fingers are placed right here on that D, uh, D and G strings. And that pre-placement is important in getting speed. not picking the string, having my uh, hybrid picking fingers floating in the air, and then having to bring them in and grab the strings like this. That, that's very awkward. You could give that a go, but I feel that that pre-placement technique is what's going to really help things come together. When I'm playing things like... placement of the fingers is what really makes something like that work. And that's just really just alternating between pick fingers, pick fingers, pick fingers. Sure, I'm playing a lot of notes, but the technique on this hand is pretty solid. Pick fingers, pick fingers. Now when you're comfortable with that, uh, just one final exercise for you would be to add in an alternating movement on the thumb with that pick. So you could think of this as being Travis picking. I want to play the low E string. We'll just take an open E chord, take the low E string and the D string. And we're just alternating between E string, D string. Like this, nice and easy, right? I want to keep these fingers placed on the G and B strings. And when I go over to that uh, D string, I am going to pinch, so. between uh, that and also picking on both. And we're going to turn this into the mystery train lick now just to finish. So when we're comfortable with that, that alternating on the bass, on 
alternate at times, we're gonna pluck the low E string. Then we're gonna uh, bar our finger over, our third finger over to play the second fret on the G and B strings. But we're actually, well, it's, I guess it's worth practicing it all on the beat. And to really make this one interesting and make it sound like Mystery Train, we're going to play the first double stop with the fingers on the beat, and then the second one off the beat, like this. That's an alternating pick, fingers, pick. basic exercise. Now that's essentially all we want to look at today. If you do want to make your life a little bit more difficult you could then of course go through each one of these exercises again and start introducing that little finger. So I could do all of these again using the pick, uh, middle, pick, middle, ring and pinky finger. Or... That's definitely a more advanced exercise though, but I, I thought I'd just throw that out there as something that you could consider. So there you go guys, hybrid picking 101. Now next time we come back and do these hybrid picking exercises, we'll be looking at more finger independence and dealing with things like banjo rolls. Uh, and we'll start learning some actual licks and phrases and concepts you can use these in, in both rock, blues and country settings. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed that. And as I say, if you have, please do hit that like button, leave me a comment and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Lastly, I just want to say a huge thank you to these people over here. These are some of my supporters over on patreon.com. Uh, they keep videos like this coming to you. They allow me to take the time to make videos like this. Also getting really cool equipment like this, axe cam mount so I can you know, um, actually film my hands and, and all of that stuff. It's also worth pointing out, I, do, I don't know how I didn't mention this, but during that entire video where I am uh, using the act cam out, you get a nice up close shot of my hand. Uh, and of course you can see there, I'm using my VPix Hot Tamale. This is a new pick from VPix and I absolutely love it. Uh, I've used the medium pointed for so long, but this Hot Tamale with the grip holes in it is really cool. So yeah, check VPix out, they are a supporter of the channel. I love those guys and I'm sure you'll love their picks. Anyway, back to my face, of course. Uh, if you would like to check me out on Patreon, you can do so by clicking this button up here. You can subscribe by clicking this button down here and you will see two more of my videos here and here. Thanks so much for all the support, guys. I really do hope that was of use to you. Let me know how you get on. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help you. So much love and I will see you for another video soon. Laters.